One, two, three, one, two, three, yeah. One, 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 one. Hello, my name's Mike M0MSN and welcome to my channel. May I first of all um, ask you to take some time out and if you haven't already done so, please click the subscribe button. This does help with my channel ratings and also gives me the feedback to know that I am doing uh, the right thing and you guys uh, are enjoying what I'm producing. Anyway, without further ado, um, this morning I received a phone call from uh, a colleague of mine uh, asking if I had a spare power supply as he had managed to uh, uh, to blow up or, or break his, uh, his power supply. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a spare one. But I do have an ATX board uh, power supply from um, a PC and I decided to convert that uh, to give it to him as a temporary solution. Now, I will say that this is quite seriously a temporary solution. It's not what I would suggest you do on a, on a long term basis, but it will indeed get you um, up and running again uh, and working uh, for the short term. Uh, it's a very stable power supply and uh, will give quite a few amps, but uh, it's not a substitute for a proper um, radial power supply. OK, uh, another disclaimer, uh, if you're not familiar with uh, electrics or electronics, I don't suggest you try this at home at all. OK, thanks. Enjoy. Now, I wouldn't suggest this is the answer to your power supply woes. Um, but it is, however, a get me out of jail free card, if you wish, uh, if you can't find any other form of um, power supply. Um, this will do. Um, this particular one is uh, an Arctic Blue. Um, I don't know the actual maker. I think it's uh, Arctic Blue, actually. Um, let me just uh, have a look at the, the specifications on the side of it. Minimum output 0.1 of an amp, maximum output 34 amps. Um, oh, I see you can combine all of the reds and you'll get 61 amps. Uh, yes, okay. Right, either which way, this should do the job to run a, uh, a relatively low uh, wattage amplifier, amplifier, low wattage um, radio up to about 50 watts, I would presume. Um, so let's uh, let's do a, a conversion. Let's make it work, and then we'll test it. So that's the last screw. So what we need is the yellow and black only. I'm not interested in the five volts or the three volts line. So we'll cut all of those off and uh, heat shrink them. Um, but what I am interested in is the yellow and black and a green. There should be a sensor, a green one, which will be the, the switch on and off. But we'll short that out against uh, one of the black ones, which means it will be permanently on. Um, Okay, let's uh, cut all of this crap away and uh, see what we can find. Okay, we're only interested at the moment in the blacks and yellows. So, the two 5 volt lines I'm going to twist together and I'm going to separately terminate them. Make them long enough, I'm going to put them around the back of the unit like so. 
I do want perhaps to use them in future. So I am going to wind them up in a nice ball and stick them around the back of the unit. But we will terminate them and insulate them so that they don't short out against anything. Right, the next one to discard is the three volt. This is the oranges. These I'm really not interested in. I might just cut them really short and just terminate them. interest. Don't need them all. Don't intend to pull that much power. Um, so we'll have eight of them. The rest of them, you can cut off. Don't need them. Yeah, so for one. We will be sensible. Isolate each and put a bit of tape over them. Now, for the positive, we need exactly the same as we've done. We need at least the same number of cables. And we stole, I think it was three or four. So, crack check. Done three. So let's do the same. Okay, let's take a moment um, to pause and also to explain what's happened so far, okay? I'll explain to you what the cables are. The yellow one is 12 volt positive. The blacks, uh, all of these, okay, which uh, I've already cut out what I don't need. The blacks are all grounds. The red are positive 5 volt, okay. 
Um, but I'm not going to use it, so I've just cut them a little bit long, but I've put them in the uh, in, in the cabinet in case I use them again in the future, along with some spare um, 12 volts, uh, because there's two banks on this particular um, power supply. I don't need to use uh, all 81 amps, um, so I'm only going to use one bank. Um, you've got, um, like I said, the black is ground. Orange, um, I've cut them all out apart from one, um, is uh, positive 3.3 volts. I don't intend to use them, so this is why I've, I've cut them all out of the circuit board here. Okay. Um, the purple, the purple is um, 5 volts standby, which means that it's always going to have power to it um but they will because of the way i'm going to wire it anyway so i don't need it another one i'm going to cut out of the board um the orange i'm going to cut out the um five volt one now i'm going to cut out gray now the gray one is um power good i don't need it i'm going to cut it out it's only for when you're on a pc board um the blue is um, if memory serves me correctly minus 12 volt again i don't need it i'm not using it on a on a motherboard or a pc so i don't need it um brown is the sense for 3.3 volts um i don't need that either so i can cut that one out and finally the the green which is the power on to the unit it's the sensor that turns the actual um power supply on you know when you press the uh the power button on your PC initializes that with the uh, with a, a ground, um, and that will then turn the power supply on. So I'm going to short those two out uh, and seal them, which means that as soon as I turn the switch on on the back, the power supply goes live. The rest of the cables um, I'm going to cut out ever so basically. So anyway, there we go. Give me my own light now. Not good, is it? I guess my son's uh, woken up. And I don't think I need that earth, so I'll cut that one off. Normally I'd solder all of this, but I'm just let's see if it works really. And if it does, then I'll solder it all up. Let's tidy it all up. Yep, still get a ball. Same here. Here we go. Okay, 
So, should we test it? That's cool. Okay, let's get the range so that we also oh, sense overload. Twelve point five eight. Twelve point five eight volts. Brilliant. Okay, so switched on, powered on, power's coming out the back. Let's turn the radio on for the first time. Yeah, that works. Let's see if it will sustain a key up. Just bear with me and I'll put a dummy load on. Okay, so we've got our power supply, the uh, CB radio and a dummy load connected to it. And uh, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, one, 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 one. 